Okay, in this one I wanted to look at the heat pump filter dryer, the liquid line filter dryer. Okay, these are placed in the liquid line. Well, they're used on heat pumps because heat pumps reverse flow. In one case, the flow is going to be going through this way, and in the other case, it's going to be going through this way. So obviously, if I put some sort of filter in here, and I didn't have some sort of reversing capability, then any dirt that I put into a screen or a filter would be pushed back out when it reverse flow. So they come up with this thing. Okay, first let's just take a look at a few of the components here. Now this is a, the desiccant block. Now that is a, um, a material that will absorb moisture. It's also got a base in it that'll uh, neutralize any acids that are in the system. And it's also kind of a filter. The heat pump dryer has to have some valves in it because of the reversing flow. Okay, screen here, a uh, real fine screen there. There's supposed to be a valve right here. I, I damaged it when I took it out. And on the other side, the valve's intact right there, and there's valves here. So let's see if we can figure out how this thing would work. With refrigerant coming this way, then this valve here will close. A spring-loaded valve, a little spring there on it. And then there's valves here too, all around the outside, but they're the opposite valve. Let's take a look at those valves closer. Now here's one of the valve plates. You can see the valve holes there. They're covered up by the reed uh, valves. Let's look on the other side. Now if you look close, you can see these valves right here. And you can see I'm opening that one from the other side. Just a little reed valve. Okay. So then the refrigerant would pass through there. Now so when it passes through these valves, it goes around the outside here, and then it can go into the desiccant. Okay, it's going to go through that desiccant, and then it's going to go this way through this center hole, and out this valve, which is the same as that valve on the other side, but when the refrigerant's moving this way, it's going to push out of it. Now here we have a screen. There's a real fine screen there, and there's a core screen right next to it. I don't have that here. but uh, And so that's to filter out anything that uh, was not taken out by the desiccant and catch it right here. But then it passes out through the, the uh, other side. And here you can see uh, the other side of this, which is intact, and there's a screen. There's a little piece of uh, fiberglass insulation here. That's kind of a filtered gasket sort of stuff, and it also keeps this thing from getting broken too easily. If you drop these uh, solid core dryers, you can break that desiccant block. And so uh, you could uh, end up with, well, a busted dryer. A lot of these type dryers, we like to shake them before we put them in just to make sure. So when ref refrigerant's coming in this way, it goes through the outside of this to the center and then out this way. When it's coming in this way, it does exactly the same thing because the valves are all reversed. It goes out here to the outside here, through to the inside, and then out that screen right there. So that is the heat pump reversible dryer.